All right. Good evening and welcome to the show. My name is Paul Herring. I have a wonderful guest for you this evening, so we're going to get right to it. People talk about there's not a lot of things to do in Flint, and I have to say, bah, humbug. In fact, the young lady I'm bringing to you this evening, Ranika Brown, not only has written, directed, and produced, but is also a part of a play that's going to be right here in Flint, Michigan that you don't want to miss. Ranika, with that said, hi. Hello. <laughs> You're a busy girl. I am. I am. What are three things that people should know about you? Um, they should know that I am a wife and mom. I put those two together. They go hand in hand. Okay. Um, that I am a professional. Okay. And that I am a Flintstone. Nice. Yes. Nice. Nice. <laughs> How long has it been? I mean, you know, most writers take a little time to get their pieces done. How long have you been writing this piece? Um, actually, it started off as a book. Okay. So the book was um, published in 2010. Okay. And I actually started working on the screenplay last October 2013. Okay. So I wrapped that all up in February of this year, and then that's when I started moving forward. Now, is this your first uh, screenplay? It is. It Wonderful. Is my first was it tough, hard, or easy? You know, because I, ri I had written the book already, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Um, because this because this being my first time, I was a little nervous about mm -hmm. how long it would take and how much detail I would have to put into it. But because the book was my foundation, um, it wasn't as difficult as I thought. What's the name of the play? My Husband's Mistress is Me. My Husband's Mistress is Me. So now, I don't want to have to put up a spoiler with her. You got <laughs> you to say, you got to tell me something now. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you how it's going to make you feel. Okay. Can, can, can I do that? You can do that. Okay, so um, this play is full of emotion. So be prepared to be an emotional roller coaster. Um, there's some love in it, a little romance. Um, there's some betrayal, so you feel a little anger. Um, there's some forgiveness, so you know you have that little heart, that soft spot in your heart. And then there's some tragedy. So um, it deals with life. It talks about the importance of marriage, the importance of faith, um, loyalty. It, it covers a lot. It covers a lot. And give me two reasons. I mean, convince me to come to, is it McCree Theater? Where is it going to be? The Whiting. At the Whiting. Nice, nice. Yes, it's at the Whiting. C convince me to come to the Whiting and see this. Okay. Um, well, the title alone has you guessing. I already know. And so uh, that that in itself, your gut is telling you you should come. So listen to your gut and come to the play. Um, secondly, I have some def some relevant people. Um, that have been on some reality shows. Tyra Wallace from Love & Hip Hop okay. New York. She's uh, one of the actresses. All right. As well as Sunday Carter from Basketball Wives LA. Okay. She's also one of the actresses. And it's filled with so much Flint talent. Um, and I'm a strong believer in we are to support our own. And you won't be disappointed. Like yeah. I said, it's an emotional roller coaster. You're, you're almost going to feel like you're at the movies okay. than being at a, a stage play. It's, it's different. Is it a musical? Or am I going to be singing? It does have some music. You will be singing. You will be dancing. You will be praising. Um, like I said, you will be angry. You'll be yelling at the like. You'll be yelling at the stage the same way you yell at the screen in a good movie. Um, All right. Now tell me. Now is this a date play? Should should I bring a date to this thing? You could. You could. I, I don't think she's going to, no, she's not going to um, walk out on you <laughs> <laughs> or take your car keys out of your pocket and leave you at the whiting by yourself. No. I'm thinking it's going to start some fights. My mistress it's, is it's, my... My husband's mistress, mistress is me. Um, it starts off making you think it's going to start some fights, okay. but it ends um, total opposite. And you'll never guess the ending. Never guess the ending. Never guess the I'm ending. I'm good at guessing the endings You won't now. guess this ending. You sure? I'm positive. My book has been out for four years now. Well, be four years in December. Uh -huh. And no one has ever guessed the ending. See, now, that, that's a challenge. Not only to me, but you guys who are watching this. Uh, check out the book. See if she can stump you. See if you can't figure out the, the ending. But I guess before you read the last page... Head on down to the Whiting Auditorium, September 13th. 13th yes. Doors and open at 6. Show starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Is that the only showing on the 16th? Um, the 13th. And the 13th, I'm sorry. Yes, it is for now. Um, we have had quite a few requests to do a second show. You can't show. come to your living room and see her? No, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot come to my living room. But we have had some promoters from other states call uh -huh. and contact me about the, the play traveling. So it may be... Um, in close proximity, but maybe, I don't know about doing a second show in Flint just yet. Okay, well, this is the premiere. This is the tester. This is. So you guys really have a responsibility, or an obligation, should I say, to support this young lady, the Flint folks that are in it, the national folks that are in it, and, yes. uh, hey, help prove that Flint is a great place Absolutely. to make better. There'll be more.
Yes. Maybe. <laughs> after this. <laughs>